Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going to be doing a spec comparison between the new ZTE Blade Z Max and last year's ZTE Z Max Pro. Uh, we're going to put them side by side and see which one has the better specs. Let's jump right in. Alright, so software wise, Blade Z Max does have a newer version of Android uh, coming out of the box with 7.1 Nougat. Uh, the uh, ZMAX Pro did come out last year, so it does have 6.0 Marshmallow. I'm not sure if it's been updated to Nougat, uh, so that's definitely something to look into. But this is just stock, how it came out of the box. Screen-wise, it's going to be the same. Still a 6-inch uh, Full HD display. Um, now, camera-wise, this is where we definitely get some difference here with the upgrade. Um, you're getting an 8 megapixel front camera on the new uh, Blaze Z Max versus a 5 on last year's. You're also getting a dual rear camera, a 16 megapixel and a 2 megapixel dual camera on the back. Um, so while this was great last year, uh, definitely uh, the upgraded version is a lot better. Uh, internal memory wise, this is kind of interesting. So they both advertise 32 gigs of internal storage, but um, you never get that amount because of the operating system and pre-installed apps. So after all those things are installed, um, you get what's called the user availability. And usually you'll find this on the manufacturer website. So although they both advertise 32, you really want to get about 21 gigs of user storage on the new Blade Z Max, whereas last year you do get 24 gigs. So um, that is a bit of a difference, three gigs more. So that's why last year's version did win that category. Battery wise, the new Blade Z Max blows last year's out of the water, 4,000 milliamp battery. Um, so a considerable upgrade from last year. Now there, uh, I should have added this to both sides. The battery is not removable on each, on either model. So this is an important thing to, to note. Some people like to buy an extra battery. You can't do it with this phone. You cannot take the back off. Battery is in there. Um, just worth on the going today. Processor wise, you're gonna get a just a slightly faster processor on last year's model, OctaCore 1.5 gigahertz. Um, this year's version is OctaCore 1.4. It's so a very tiny difference, but you know we have to point it out. Both have two gigs of RAM. Weight wise, uh, last year's was a bit heavy at 6.7 ounces. The new Blade Z Max is 6.17 ounces, so that's over half an ounce lighter. So def definitely an important thing to point out there. Extra features, uh, they both have fingerprint scanner, but now you are getting a dual camera as well. So that definitely makes the newer version a little bit more appealing with the extra features. All right, in price, we always base the prices on Metro PCS prices because that's where you get the best deal on these phones. Um, the regular price is $179 for both. Um, the Z Max Pro did go down to basically $100, and Blade Z Max is $129. So, price wise, last year's model, of course, will win because it's last year's model. It has been discounted, but it's still an incredible price for all that you get with uh, the Blade Z Max there. So, Ultimately guys, this has been our uh, spec review. Just kind of putting them side by side so you guys can see how last year's model stacks up with this year's model. Hopefully you did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos and have a good one.